Hi, good evening to you. Yeah, Alessia Mesquita's family and friends spoke out in court today. In fact, speaking directly to Rashad Newton. And now that they know that he's going to be spending the next 35 years in prison, they say they can start to heal and they do feel justice was served today. It's been almost two years since the family and friends of Alessia Mesquita lost her to domestic violence. Just sad uh, that, you know, love has to hurt like this and that love has to kill. 28-year-old Alessia was killed on March 22nd of 2021. Her boyfriend, Rashad Newton, pled guilty to that murder and will now spend 35 years of his life in prison for it. He shot her while she was standing outside of a parked car in broad daylight on Clifton Street in New Haven. Their one-year-old daughter, Aaliyah, was in the back seat of that car. This is one of the most heinous and horrible cases that I have had come before me. Hours after the shooting, baby Aaliyah was found with Newton. Now, Alessia's mom, Sandy, takes care of her, on top of Alessia's other child. I just have to always instill in her the same wonderful qualities that I taught Alessia, and that's to be respectful, um, loving, and caring. In court on Thursday, her family and friends detailed the abusive relationship Alessia endured. They say Newton slowly but surely pulled her away from everyone she loved. Now they're living in her honor, trying to stop others from having to ever experience what they feel. I hope my daughter's death has somehow prevented other women from going through the same thing. In the meantime, they'll all hold on to who Alessia was. They say she had a big heart and always had a positive attitude. As for Newton's 35-year sentence... I believe justice has been served, and um, he can't hurt anyone. He can't traumatize anyone, and he definitely can't kill anyone. Now, remarkably, Sandy did tell Newton that she forgives him, but only because she can't let her hatred for him ruin the rest of her life. Now, Newton did ultimately apologize in court to the family, but they say that will never bring Alessia back, and they are happy to see him spending a lot of time in prison. We're live here in New Haven tonight. Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61 News.